Alright, I'm gonna try not to die in like 10 seconds. Usually a good idea. Yeah, those are two fully upgraded Langley's that I'm up against with uh, Ahosho and our side. Not sure how I feel about that. Well, if you can manage to somehow wipe out their AA or their fighters, we're in a better position carrier wise, but they've got air superiority if they are halfway decent. Yeah, I'm going to head to the islands and park between uh, the two southern ones. Alright, I'm going to try and rush in and capture C and then run away. Engine boost activated. Use my engine boost to get there a little bit quicker. I'm going to have my torpedo squadron skirt the southern, uh, see if I can get a shot on someone. Love to be able to knock out one of their carriers right away. Yeah, I'm really not sure if I'm good at carrier or not. <coughs> Carrier's not for everybody. I will yeah. say. I'm I'm a pretty good carrier player. Um But I love real time strategy games and carriers just play like a kinda RTS light. I seem to be good at the Fighter squadron carriers, just because everybody seems to want to run with the uh, the bombers, torpedoes, and dive bombers and stuff. Yeah, like every time I'm on a team, the other carriers always got the heavy, you know, the heavy hitter stuff instead of the fighters. Nope, I just actually ran aground. With other squadrons. Yeah, they're, those islands are just jump right in front of you. <laughs> they do. Okay, well, I'm waiting for my mods to update and everything. I'm gonna step outside for a bit and see if uh, I can see the super moon. Alright. It was kind of cloudy and rainy a while ago, so I may not be able to get anything. But I will be back in a few minutes. Engine boost dear. I see a aircraft carrier. Guns are strong enough to penetrate the armor on the Phoenix and the Omaha and the Clemson. Yes, but it does about the same damage as high explosive. So I might as well go for a chance to start fires. Spotted on the move. The enemy team has taken the lead. And I very slightly ran aground. That's not the hell one of their language. Those torpedoes, unless they burn out, it's gonna be wonderful. Oh, they burn. They all burn out. Unable to maneuver. 
sweet. Lost my runner. I got three torps on that carrier. <laughs> Before you got into the position to take cover between the islands. Alright, I should be out of detection range by now. Critical engine damage. Oh, my engine's out. Repair. I'm gonna give him C. There's no way I can fight all of them. I'm detected again by who? Oh, that Omaha's in range. Hello. Hello. Okay. Sure if I uh do something up here. It's really, really quiet. Alright, are you guys running away? As in you guys the carriers? <clears throat> oh, I'm still in uh cover between these two <clears throat> islands. But I'm gonna start moving north. Okay. I will try and cover your retreat. I am very badly hurt. If I get lucky, I can pop off another one of my or my last smoke and get some stealth kills. Our team has taken the lead. But for the time being, I'm just kind of spotting. I'm going to go after the New York Alright, let's see if this works now. Got one hit on the uh, New York. One of the cruisers uh, yeah, I took a little bit of a bite out of my torps, uh, bombers, but not too much. I'm going to dive in on them. Engine boost activated. Let's see what I can do. sure what's seeing me though. Dang. 
Didn't work. Here's worth a shot. I took out my torpedo tubes just as I popped smoke and had killed my engines. I couldn't turn to the other side. Now, the force attack on the uh, fighters, what does that do exactly? Is that against just other fighters or what? Yeah, it only works against other aircraft, and basically they just start shooting in a cone in front of them, and they will destroy any fighters in their path, or any aircraft in their path, I should say. Enemy, team, or your team. Unless they fixed it, though, it's bugged out, and it doesn't always work. And if it doesn't work, it leaves your fighters just hanging in midair until they get killed. Like, you can't issue orders to them anymore. I saw something on the note. On the, you got the a firestorm, that's why I was asking. Yeah, I saw something on the patch notes about it. I haven't actually been able to successfully use it yet. Like, my guys got picked off right before they started their attack run on, like, two of the times that I tried to do it. So I haven't been successful at it. I haven't really tried it too much, though. I've tried it. Um, it's uh, with relatively unspectacular results. The only thing, the only benefit that I've really found to it is that it uh, you can hit multiple squadrons at once. So I've gotten relatively the same amount of fighter kills that I would have if I had just like manually told them to engage a squadron. But instead, they attack all. I still of them. think it. I think it should be a strafing run on ships. I, that would be really low good. damage. Uh huh. Low damage with a small chance to start fires. Yeah. But still, I mean, that would I make would, it useful as a as a defense against I would, destroyers. I would think low damage instead of fire, like make your turrets highly inaccurate for five ten seconds. Well, that would be helpful. Like a twenty to thirty percent increase in or a decrease in accuracy. But I mean that would make it good as kind of a last ditch defensive measure against destroyers. Which would be really helpful. Yeah. Although I genuinely feel like carrier secondary weapons, maybe all secondary weapons, have gotten a boost in their accuracy since the uh, dot five oh release. Because, I mean, before then, I had never gotten a secondary kill. And after it, I've gotten two or three secondary kills, mostly with my carriers. Yeah, I wouldn't know. I, I haven't had anybody get that close to me since, uh, since after point five. Yay, we won. That was an okay you game for a two times bonus. Yeah, I think the other carrier ran me while I was in autopilot because I did some team damage somehow. Oh, what? Okay, so I'm just. Uh, I think I carried uh, us carrier wise. Take a look at the team score. Team score. Oh did, man, he's at you the guys... bottom. You guys know about this? Uh, uh, sorry, the... what was that, Jared? You kind of got talked over. Sorry. Uh, uh, I said he's at the bottom. That's awful. I mean, a carrier should always be in, like, the middle. It, at the very least, in the middle, if you're an air superiority carrier. Yeah, I think it was pretty much me and uh, one of their carriers just duking it out because look at the uh, aircraft shot down. <laughs> you got 23 fighter or 23 kills with it on aircraft. Yeah, and uh, one of theirs has 15. And the other one has three. For a Langley, that's terrible. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Alright, I'm gonna do one more.